Fresh twist in the Malega blast case as former top officials of the military intelligence has made sensational claims, putting the Manmohan Singh-led UPA government in the dock. Retired Brigadier Rajkumar, who was the Deputy Director General of the Military Intelligence and also the nodal officer from the Army in Malega blast case, has given a clean chit to Lieutenant Colonel Purohit, who was recently released on bail. The former brigadier says that Army has not found evidence that Purohit had access to RDX. The ex-officer, however, admitted that there was pressure from the UPA to speed up the probe. This clearly exposes UPA's intentions to rake up the Saffron Terra bogey, also saying that a colonel who was appointed to probe the case had exceeded his brief and tortured Purohit, and the inquiry officer misled the Army, admitting that the army top brass was shocked about Purohit's alleged involvement in the blast case. All right, let's uh, listen in to former Brigadier Rajkumar chilling revelation over Colonel Purohit's arrest and how it seems to be a frame up. The report which was prepared by the DG MI uh, uh, is a bit vague about uh, you know the accusation against Colonel Purohit that he supplied the uh, uh, the. RDX used in the Maligaon blast case. What was the uh, finding? See, we have uh, threadbare uh, gone into the details about this case. Mm. Uh, the RDX, since we um, is very sensitive to this particular allegation. Mm. Uh, I had written that time to the Northern Command, mm -hmm. uh, based in Udhampur, uh, to ascertain his postings and if he had any access to uh, RDX, mm -hmm. uh, which they uh, told us that uh, at no stage Prohit was. Uh, though he was posted there in Shirnagar mm -hmm. for a while, but he was not associated in handling of uh, RDX. It is given only to very, very selected people for right. a particular operation, right. not to everyone. Was the uh, ATS under some political pressure? Would you say that? I don't know. Uh, I, have, I don't know the working of uh, police, mm -hmm. mm, but certainly uh, while at Army headquarters, uh, since the elections were due, mm -hmm. uh, so we were told to push the case fast. Right, right. So you're saying that uh, the uh, there was a pressure on the army as well uh, to uh, uh, find out more about the not, not really pressure. We were we were told to hasten the case mm -hmm. and uh, uh, reach some conclusion before the elections. Right. But uh, we stood by our uh, idea because uh, th this is a very sensitive case. Mm -hmm. We had so many people to uh, question so many people to talk to about the case mm -hmm. uh, who were located at so many places uh, Mumbai, Pune, Bhopal, right. Faridabad and all over the countryside. Mm -hmm. So this we certainly couldn't hasten this case and we took our own time mm -hmm. in investigating it. Our reporter Pankaj Kelkar spoke to Lieutenant Colonel Purohit's wife Aparna Purohit who maintained that revelations made by the Brigadier indicated that her husband might have been falsely implicated. Listen in. Two former army officers now coming in open and t while talking to India today have somewhere expressed that there was pressure from then government in the inquiry that was conducted against Prasad Purohit. What does Aparna Purohit, wife of Lieutenant Colonel Prasad Purohit want to say about this? Let's talk to her. Aparna ji, what would you like to say that now army officers are coming out in open and they are now garnering up courage to say that indeed there was pressure from somebody during that period to implicate Prasad Purohit in this case. I would not comment on that because I would really not know. And uh, so, But I believe that the, the truth will come out uh, someday or the other. And uh, also the way he was handed over on a different FIR, not on the Maligao FIR, he was uh, uh, arrested uh, based on the FIR uh, of forgery um, in, uh, which was filed in Pune. Uh, so uh, he, he was handed over on a different FIR besides uh, he was taken and directly handed over to the ATS uh, uh, wherein he was tortured uh, in the ATS custody so the even the uh, and he was not allowed to report to his unit so um, with all this I feel it is quite a suspicious uh, I mean all this becomes very suspicious about uh, the way uh, you know um, things went on at that time watching the video for more such news and updates 
please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you will love to